Cue up the Monster Mash, maybe fire up some Thriller. Halloween is just days away. From the Gatehouse Media Studios, I'm Dave Morris, and this is a story that our uh, Diane Zhang has been working on about the Halloween sales and the business of Halloween. Is it up? Is it down? We'll find out here shortly. Hey, Diane, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Halloween is one of my favorite seasons, and I'm not going to lie, Diane. I like some candy, but we'll get into your preferences, chocolate or maybe not chocolate, here in a second. But I referenced it off the top, the business of Halloween. It's, it's what you're looking at. How is the business of Halloween this season? I think it's pretty good. So I talked to the spokesperson for the National Retail Federation. They're doing this survey for Halloween candies and all the spending for 15 years. So based on their survey for this year, um, the estimate projection for Halloween spending is around $8.8 .8 billion this year. It's slightly dropped for the second straightforward year, but still it's the highest, um, the third highest for the 15 survey history. So Deanne, you're talking to the National Retail Federation and we see the numbers right there. Pretty steady, a little bit of growth. Uh, as you mentioned, it dipped off the past couple years. Were they surprised that it dipped the past couple years? Actually not. So when I talked to the spokesperson, the reason she gave is the survey is really, you know, happened in September. So as Halloween's coming, more people should spend more. So the real um, expenditure the real spending for Halloween should be bigger than the projection. Gotcha. Now when we talk about spending for Halloween, there's a lot of things that people spend their money on, right? It's not just candy, it's not just costumes, there's, there's no shortage of where you can distribute your funds. Yes, I mean one interesting thing when I talk to people is actually there's a trend of people putting money on pet costumes. So um, there are more people having pets in the United States and there's just people treating their, treating their pets as their family members. So there's a big trend of pet costume this year. I can't say that I would be very surprised to hear that because let's be honest, pet owners, they're passionate about their little furry friends. So it doesn't surprise me at all that costumes for pets would be a popular trend. All right, now you passed out a survey looking for, uh, for some answers, some help among our gatehouse colleagues. What were some of the results of that as far as were people going to celebrate Halloween this year or uh, in what way? You mentioned uh, shopping in the survey from the National Retail Federation in September. How early are people shopping? I mean, people are really shopping around the whole October. So as early as September, people kind of prepare for Halloween, but most people will spend um, doing shopping through the whole October, I think. All right, now you also took a look at some of the candy distribution or uh, distribution uh, from across the country. Uh, tell us about some of the results that you found there. Yes, uh, so I found this interesting candy map from a shop called candystore.com. So based on their uh, sale data, it's really interesting to see Skittles will be the uh, the most favorite candy for Americans and followed by uh, Reese peanut butter cups and then M&M's. I think that's a pretty solid list. To me, Skittles seems like it's across the board. It's, it's not going to be all chocolate. It's not going to be any sort of allergy concerns. It seems like that's a solid. But our friends in Kentucky, Deanne, to be honest, I had never heard of Swedish fish before. But you learn something as you dive into the research. Let me ask you this, what did you learn as far as average spend per person? What are people spending per person? And I think it uh, varies whether you're a parent or not. Right, so I talked to another company whose um, name is called Bed on Equipment. So this is literally an online shop that sells industrial equipment, including machines for making candies. So they're doing a separate survey asking people questions, be like how much money you will spend for candies. And the interesting, an average person will spend around $25, but for parents, they will spend 10 more bucks. And I mean, it kind of makes sense because when you are a child, you just like diving to candies, right? Absolutely, absolutely. $25, $35, that doesn't seem outrageous, but it adds up, does it not? Because you mentioned those retail sales in the billions of dollars. Right, so um, I also spoke with a um, spokesperson for National Confectioners Association. Uh, what I got is, the quote I got is really interesting. He literally said, it's our Super Bowl. So 
Halloween is definitely a biggest moment of the year for them. I believe it. You go into the stores late August, you start to see the Halloween, then the, the Thanksgiving, and then let's be honest, it's all Christmas from there. It's an interesting story. Diane Zhang has uh, provided for us lots and lots of numbers and research. Good job, Diane. And I can't let you go without asking you, what is your favorite candy? Actually, Skittles is my favorite candy for sure. Yep. Not going to hate on some Skittles, although I'll prefer some M&Ms. All right, more information on this story can be found across the Gatehouse Media Network. Deanne, thank you for your time. Thank you, Dave.